tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create search engine friendly URLs in your Joomla website. So first, uh, as you can see, our site is offline right now, so I'm going to log in. Okay, so I'm into the website and I'm going to click on a link right now. And now you can see the URL or the path that uh, this page is on is pretty long. It uh, isn't really descriptive of what that page is about. And that's the point of making a search engine friendly URL. Um, hopefully once you finish with this, it will, this link will now say at the end, install five forward slash license or license guidelines or something to that effect, effect so that search engines, uh, when people click into, type in certain keywords, like license guidelines for Joomla, they will hopefully come up with this website, or at least this, this uh, excuse me, this page uh, in their search. So in order to do that, we have to go into the back end. And again, we're gonna type in administrator at the end of the path of the site. And log in. And now we're going to go to global configuration down here. And you can also go get there by going over site and down to global configuration. And now we're going to go to the right side where it says SEO settings. SEO stands for search engine optimization. Um, that's pretty much just short for saying that you're going to try to get your site to work well with search engines so that your site can be found by search engines. So the first um, choice you have here is, do you wanna create search engine friendly URLs? And the answer to that is yes. So we're gonna click yes here. And the next one is, do we want to write or use the Apache mod rewrite? That is if you're running your site on an Apache server and you would find that out from your hosting company. I believe GoDaddy does run their sites, uh, their, uh, excuse me, Linux based sites on Apache. So I believe I will have to do that. But before we do that, let's just skip that part and go to the bottom and say add suffix to URLs. Um, this will, instead of it saying, your path saying, install five forward slash uh, license guidelines. It will say license guidelines .html. And this is good for security purposes. Uh, if there is another uh, page called license guidelines, that's called license guidelines .php, you wanna make sure it's the HTML site that gets pulled up, not the PHP site or some other site that, um, um, excuse me, some other page that might pop up instead. So we're gonna click yes for that. And we're gonna click apply. Now, sometimes it may not show up immediately. For the most part, it tends to show up immediately, the uh, search engine friendly URLs. Uh, if it doesn't show up, I would wait a couple hours. It's possible that your hosting company may take a couple hours to refresh their uh, servers. So let's just see if it shows up now. Click preview. And we'll go to the same page, license. And great, it does show here. And it says Joomla uh, dash license .html. And that's great. Now, if you do need to use the Apache uh, mod rewrite, excuse me, mod rewrite, you will have to go to the back end of your, uh, to, to the server. So you need to use your FTP client. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm in my FTP client software. I'm gonna to go to the folder. Oh, I'm there already. So I'm gonna be in my website folder, install five. And here it is. This is the htaccess.txt file. And I just need to change that to .htaccess. 
So I'm going to click on it. And click again. Delete the end of it. And click on the beginning and put a dot there. And click enter. And that's all you have to do. Uh, if this file doesn't show after you made it a .ht access file, it's probably because your hosting or your hosting company probably doesn't show uh, dot files, anything that starts with a dot. So it will be there, it just won't be shown uh, in your server, uh, in your FTP client. So not to worry. And just go back in and refresh. And this is only if it didn't work out the first time. Uh, it may have actually worked out and just the styling might be off or something. Uh, so if anything goes wrong, then you may have to just do that last little step. And uh, But it worked the first time and it works the second time here. And you're good to go. So now your search, uh, your URLs are now search engine friendly. And that's all for this short tutorial. See you on the next one. Bye.